When was the last time you had a big cup of milk tea in your hands? Taiwan's love for handshake and drinks is no joke. Although the pandemic has hit street-side sales of drinks, delivery orders have grown by almost a third. Let's take a look at how the handshake and drinks industry is faring in these strange times. It's a cold day, but the queue for a drink is as long as ever. In Taiwan, it's never too cold for a cool drink. Freshly brewed tea is filled with ice and something to chew on. Enjoying a drink is relaxing, said these people we interviewed. <laughs> Finance Ministry statistics reveal there are currently just shy of 200,000 handshake and drink shops in Taiwan. In 2018, the industry was worth 52 billion NT dollars. And in 2019, 55 billion NT dollars. If the average drink costs 50 NT dollars, that means the country consumes 1 billion of these drinks a year. A corporate survey suggested that almost 60% of handshake and drinks consumers get two or more cups a week. And 15% drink one almost every day, it claimed. I drink one a day generally. It's a habit. If I don't have one, it feels weird. Three a week. When we're coming home from school, we buy one when we pass a shop. Now the pandemic has shaken things up further. Sales on the street have fallen in 2020, but orders by phone or on delivery apps have grown by 30%. Retailers are adapting to the digital economy, launching members apps to encourage loyalty. We want to have a digital transition. We hope to help our franchise members create online platforms and delivery platforms and establish brick and mortar stores. We also want to use targeted marketing for our members to help them increase business. Drinks vendors hopes that by adapting to the challenge, they'll emerge as strong as ever in the post-pandemic landscape.